Hi, welcome to Simply Nash Media. Today we're going to take a look at the new QSAN U600HA. This is QSAN's top of the line high available NAS. Um, the product title speaks for itself, it's a NAS with high availability. Now, the difference between QSAN's high available NAS and everyone else's high available to NAS is generally a NAS will come in an active standby design for high availability. Basically means you've got one controller um, with the second controller on standby waiting to take over if the first controller fails. QSAN's design is active-active. So both controllers are in use, both controller can use IOs, both controller can send and transfer data, but at the same time also be highly available. So if one controller fails, the second controller will take over all tasks. This is great because it gives us failover of literally almost zero seconds. Um, I think it's 0 0.03 seconds it takes for it to fail over, so we don't even notice. Um, so it's a great high available NAS for any type of infrastructure if you've got data intensive, um, important data, client files you need that have to be backed up and make sure they can't be lost. This will be a great NAS for you. Um, it comes with an Intel Xeon dual core processor. It is the only processor option. You can't go down to an i3 or an i7 with this for the main reason that dual controllers require that Xeon power. Um, as you can see, the front of the NAS, very simple, there's a cage, behind the cage is your hard drive base, that way everything is protected, the cage itself can be locked, as you can see, um, you've got your LCD at the front, gives you your status of your NAS, your power indicator, your hard drive indicator, and status indicators. Uh, that's generally the front of the NAS. We'll turn you around and take a look at the back, because that's where really all the fun stuff is, take a look at it, and we'll talk a little bit more about the HA features. Okay, taking a look at the back of the NAS, um, you've got your two fans here, they are modular, they can be replaced. Um, these are actually two fans built into one, so this is fan one and two, and this is fan two and three. Sorry, three and four, two and three. Anyway, so that, those are basically your modular fans, you can take those out if something does go wrong and get them replaced without having to send off the unit. Um, that's really the case with all QSANs, everything seems to be modular, so that way you don't have to send the unit off for repair. Got your two redundant PSUs, again modular, they can be replaced. They do also have the um, locking mechanism for your power cable, that way your power cable stays secure and doesn't just pull out. Um, aside from that, main features are going to be the two controllers in the middle here. So you have one power button for two controllers, which is absolutely fine. Um, let's go through the network port and then we'll, then we'll show you what the controllers do. So. To begin with, you've got your USB 1 and USB 2 slots here. These are both USB 2.0. Um, next to that, you've got two 10 gig RJ45. You have the option of also having 10 gig SFP Plus as well. Um, if you need 10 gig SFP Plus, just let us know. And of course, it is a slightly different part number to this, but again, because they're built into the controllers. But again, you have that option. Um, then you've got three RJ45s. Now, you can't see too well, but this is port 1, this is port 2. This is actually a management port. Now, you can use it as a typical one gig port. Um, it does have IP access, it does have internet access. You can link aggregate with the other two. The only reason it's labeled the management port is if we go into things such as network bonding um, and we go into, let's say, an iSCSI connection, typically we say leave this one open to have IP access to the web UI. There is a console access here, but again, it's just basic SSH access. Um, and it doesn't really allow you to do any of the web management. So for that reason, we never say leave that dedicated to the web management, at least that way you can access the web management regardless of what's going on with the NAS and where it's being deployed. Next to your RJ45s, you have your expansion slot. This can be done for your J300Q, which is for the HA models. Um, the HA models go up to 254 hard drives, so you have quite a bit of expansion capability after this. Everything that we just spoke about in terms of the network connections, all the ports on the top controller here are replicated at the bottom controller here. Um, this is because this is an HA NAS. Uh, rather than needing two boxes for high availability, QSAN have created a solution whereby you have HA just in one box alone. So this is your high available box. You don't need to buy two different boxes and have a heartbeat sensor or anything. So you're not worried about anything breaking in the high availability. Um, these are modular motherboards so as you've seen on let's say the U300 you can pull out your whole motherboard here if something does go wrong I'll show you the motherboard design there so you can quite easily get the get a part replaced if you do pull this out the second one will take over 
allowing you to carry on your NAS um, functions without worrying about without worrying about the fact that your controller has gone down. Um, the NAS in itself, I will show you here. Generally, we're used to NASs with upgradable RAM. These NASs actually have a warranty void sticker on their RAM. They are non-upgradable RAM. You can buy it on a 16 gig or 32 gig configuration, but you do not have the option of upgrading your RAM. Um, if you do remove that, do bear in mind your three-year warranty is voided also. Um, the main reason for this being is really the, because the controllers are HA, we don't want people messing with the, um, well, QSAN don't want people messing with the configurations of the NAS. Because if you do upgrade the NAS on the first controller and you don't upgrade the second controller, your HA, of course, breaks. Um, it really defeats the purpose of this NAS in itself. The main feature of this NAS is high availability built into one box. Um, that's generally the back of your NAS. We'll bring you back around the front and discuss a little bit more about the features of the NAS. Okay, bringing you back around the front. So, as we mentioned, this is a highly available NAS. Um, we're drumming on about this feature because it's, it's, it's very different to all the other NASs. Um, because Synology, they do have HA capability, but they require you to buy two units. Um, so, again, save a, save a little bit more money, um, cheaper cost, because you only buy one NAS and you've still got your high availability. It's absolutely fantastic to have it in one box. Um, active active design means it's true HA, not an active standby design. So there is no passive box on here. Um, both controllers are active. Both can be utilized at the same time. Um, I've said that a couple of times. I do want to stress it because it is very important when it comes to performance. You have the option of having four 10 gig iSCSI connections on this. You have the option of having six one gig connection on this. So it's, it's a great box for data transfers. Um, it's a great box when we're doing any type of virtualization. Um, it's VMware and Citrix ready, so that's fantastic as well. You can you can use this in your current VMware infrastructure. Uh, it's a very versatile box. One thing, again, always managed to forget something when we switch around to the back. Each controller has the option of um, installing a BBM module, um, which is great if your power goes down, you can shut down the NAS quite safely without worrying about any sort of crashes. I mean, don't expect the BBM module to keep you running for 15 hours. I believe there's, there's a very small module that will go in. It will keep you going for about an hour or so, which is ample time to shut down services and um, shut down the NAS. You, of course, won't have any data transfers going because your network will be down. Everything will be down when the power goes out, of course, unless they're on a battery backup. But that being said, when the power goes out, unless you know it's coming back up, it's generally safe to shut everything down. You don't want to risk your data integrity. Uh, other features of this are compression methods. You have lossless compression on this NAS, so you can compress your files and save storage space. Um, there is snapshot also. Snapshot is block level on the HA NAS, so you have the option of saving different types of snapshots for different files. Um, the duplication is not supported just yet. However, that being said, it is working on a firmware upgrade. You won't have to pay any extra licenses for when it is available. You'll just upgrade the firmware of this NAS and have DGP also. Um, aside from that, that's really the main features of the NAS. If you have any questions about the product, any questions about QSAN, give us a call 407-960-4690. Alternatively, you can always email us, sales at simplynas.com. As always, please do like this video, subscribe to our channel, that way you get notifications of any future videos. Thank you very much for joining us today. Have a wonderful weekend.